students in this session we are going to discuss a special type of bacteria that is called as actinomyces which is actually different from the other bacteria that we have already learned so this one is a gram positive bacilli but the difference is they have filaments or so they appear like thin branching filaments like this so they are very thin branching filamentous bacteria and since we uh, when we hear about this branching kind of growth filamentous growth we know it's the fungus or the fungi that grows like this filaments forming mycelium so this bacteria has an intermediate property between bacteria and fungus because they form filaments so when you hear about actinomyces you have to remember they are gram positive filamentous bacteria the two medically important genera coming under this is actinomyces and nocardia both of these are important so actinomyces is actually both of them are gram positive filamentous bacilli but the difference it has from nocardia is this one is non acid fast and why we say this one is non acid fast because our nocardia is acid fast and it's not like how we do for tb in mycobacterium we do a 25% sulfuric acid we use a 25% sulfuric acid for decolorization but for nocardia you need only 1% sulfuric acid so you can't call it as a completely acid fast one but you can call it as a weakly acid fast or partially acid fast so that is why nocardia is partially acid fast and actinomyces is non acid fast that is how we differentiate otherwise when you do gram staining you know both of them will look like the same so they grow in mycelial forms like very thin filaments and they break up into small bacilli and cocci forms so that is how this bacteria grows and uh, appears in smears and what they look like is they appear as granules in pus both these actinomyces and, and also actinomyces in nocardia they can form pus in lesions and in the pus they look like granules so the more the three important species coming under actinomyces so when now we are dealing with actinomyces coming under actinomyces actinomyces is non acid fast nocardia is partially acid fast that is the difference they have in the morphology in the staining property and among actinomyces we have three important species israeli nesslundi and odontolithicus of which israeli is the most important medically important species now when you do gram staining you know how it will look like is there will be thin this central filamentous gram positive mycelium and with some peripheral zone of swollen radiating clubs this is because of the inflammatory cell exudate which is appearing over the periphery so they have such a kind of appearance with a central filamentous gram positive mycelium with swollen radiating club shaped structures which is actually made up of the inflammatory cells so they form certain granules those are actually sulfur granules and how does this granules occur appear as as white or yellowish color granules and they are found only in tissues so you can see the granules produced by this bacteria only in tissues actually each granule is composed of a number of bacteria when you examine this granules by the histopathological staining you call it a sun ray appearance in histopathological staining with the central club of bacilli central mass of the filamentous bacilli with the peripheral radiating clubs you call it as a sun ray appearance so what is actinomyces cause it causes a condition called actinomycosis again see in this condition also it's like mycosis it's mycosis is a term we use for fungus no but here also you call it as actinomycosis because it's a fungus like bacteria so what is actinomycosis it's a chronic granulomatous disease and what is it characterized by they have multiple abscesses fibrosis and multiple sinuses so they will form multiple abscesses with discharging sinuses that is there will be communication to the skin opening to the skin through which these granules will be discharged so and finally it lead to fibrosis that is how this disease appears so how this disease occurs is it's actually not an exogenous infection most of these actinomyces species they are endogenous which are normally present and they usually follow trauma usually after a dental extraction is one procedure that we commonly see following which it can lead to actinomycosis if there is any kind of uh, trauma so painless it will initially present as a painless indurated swelling so there will be a swelling like this and there will be multiple sinuses through these sinuses granules will be discharged 
outside multiple discharging sinuses and what is the color of the granule produced by actinomyces it is a yellowish colored sulfur granule which is composed of the bacteria so actinomycosis occur in four, four clinical forms the most common form is cervico facial form cervico facial form this is called as lumpy jaw so you have thoracic abdominal pelvic forms also but the most common form of actinomycosis is cervical facial you can see this is the most common location of actinomycosis you call it as lumpy jaw it is the commonest form and it occurs only in cheeks and submaxillary regions that is a common area of presentation of the actinomycosis the other forms are the thoracic form which occurs in lungs the abdominal form is usually seen in the ileocecal region and also there is pelvic form but these are rarer forms now another thing which they can cause other than this actinomycosis cervical facial actinomycosis it can also lead to dental caries and periodontal diseases also so what specimen will you collect for actinomycosis you can take the pus sample which is coming out of the sinuses the discharge from the sinuses if basically if you get the granule it is very good in case of pulmonary disease you can go for sputum sample and otherwise if it's an any other kind of thoracic or abdominal one you can go for a tissue or biopsy sample and when you do the staining this this is how it looks like the staining will be looking like this a sundry appearance so when you do gram stain you know what you see gram positive filamentous bacilli with peripheral clefts when you do a histopathological staining like hematocellin eosin staining you can see the mycelial mass inside here this is the mycelial mass surrounded by pus cells and macrophages giving rise to the sundry appearance so sundry appearance is characteristic of actinomycosis sulfur granules now what will you do after microscopy for any kind of infection we'll do a culture right so culture you can grow it in the ordinary medium like blood agar but this one they grow best under anaerobic or micro aerophilic condition under lower oxygen tension or with absence of oxygen they grow this better and if you provide 5 to 10 percent carbon dioxide they are even more happier they grow be better with carbon dioxide most species grow after two to four days but our israeli will take a little bit more time it may take up to a week now what do you do for treatment of actinomycosis if it's a actinomycosis this granulomatous condition better you have to go for a surgical removal of the affected part and penicillin therapy is effective for actinomycosis so that is about actinomyces actinomyces which causes actinomycosis actinomycosis is what we discussed now and the most common form of actinomycosis is cervical facial actinomycosis which will be having abscess draining sinuses draining granules and the granules are yellowish white in color and they are non acid first so next we are going to see the next genera coming under actinomycetes that is nocardia so we said nocardia is partially acid first that is how it is different from actinomyces otherwise it resemble actinomyces morphologically they are gram positive filamentous bacilli they form mycelium which fragments into bacilli and cocci forms and they are strictly aerobic that is something else that makes it different from actinomyces actinomyces is actually uh, it's better grows under anaerobic and micro aerophilic conditions but this one is strictly aerobic and partially acid fast that is one important property so uh, if you can get a question on what are the different acid fast organisms what the thing which comes to your mind is a mycobacterium all mycobacteria are acid fast no leprae tuberculosis and atypical mycobacteria but the other ones other than mycobacteria which are acid fast is nocardia which is acid fast with one person sulfuric acid so the most important species of nocardia are nocardia asteroids nocardia brasiliensis nocardia kva and nocardia madurai so please remember at least two asteroids and brasiliensis will be well and good and so remember what is the percentage of sulfuric acid we use for nocardia it is 1% sulfuric acid so nocardia the pathogenesis when you say it is basically a pulmonary pathogen and that is more commonly it causes a pulmonary disease and this disease uh, mostly occurs in immunocompromised people like those with aids so it's an opportunistic pulmonary disease that is one important condition that is caused by nocardia in addition to this it causes a condition which is similar to that caused by fungi that's called as mycetoma so mycetoma is a chronic granulomatous disease caused by fungi and this group of bacteria can also cause mycetoma so it's a chronic granulomatous 
lesion involving the subcutaneous and deeper tissue. So this is involving the subcutaneous and deeper tissues and mainly it is localized in the foot. So this is how it looks like. It will be having swelling, multiple sinuses, discharging granules. So mostly it occurs among barefooted persons who work without any um, uh, protective footwear. Basically, it is most commonly seen in agricultural workers and it is prone to contamination when they are foot, barefooted people, if they are prone to get contaminated by soil derived organism because nocardia is a soil derived organism. So, if you walk barefooted, if in contaminated soil, you can get ex uh, exposed to this particular bacteria. So, the condition caused by this, this mycetoma, you call it as Madura foot or Madura disease because it was first described from a patient in Madura. And it is also called as act, uh, also caused by other than nocardia. There are certain other bacteria which can cause mycetoma, actinomadura madurae, and streptomyces. So all these three, the mycetoma caused by nocardia, actinomadura, and streptomyces, is together called as actinomycetoma. Suppose if the same kind of condition is caused by certain fungi, which you will learn under mycology. Uh, there are different fungi which causes Madurella mycetomatis, Madurella gracie. Those are the fungi which causes mycotic mycetoma or eumycetoma. Here it is caused by bacteria coming under this group actinomycetes including nocardia, actinomadura and streptomyces. These kind of bacterial mycetoma it is called as actinomycetoma. So what will be the specimen that you will take for nocardia diagnosis? If it is a pulmonary lesion, you have to go for a sputum sample. If it is a mycetoma condition, you have to take the pus which contain the granules. When you do gram staining, you will see like what you have seen for actinomyces, that is gram positive filamentous bacteria will be seen, bacilli will be seen. But the most important staining for nocardia is seal Nielsen staining using 1% sulfuric acid for decolorization. And you can see the organism will be pink in color because it is partially acid first. And they grow readily in blood agar, nutrient agar, seborrheic dextrose agar and also brain heart infusion agar. So this can grow well in the fungal culture medium seborrheic dextrose agar also. So they will look like chalky white color colonies. So how will you do for nocardia the treatment nocardia uh, here also here this this one if you if you can do a surgical debridement it's good but in case of actinomycetoma in contrast to the mycotic mycetoma where you definitely have to go for a surgical uh, removal here this responds well to antibiotics and the antibiotics we prefer for nocardia or actinomycetoma is cotrimoxazole which is given for three months you see how long you have to give the antibiotics you have to give for three months or more so that is the drug of choice for mycetoma caused by nocardia and other actinomyces member so that is the treatment of nocardia so that is about actinomyces and nocardia so the previously asked question from this part is actinomyces israeli was asked so you have to write everything about actinomyces write about actinomycosis cervicofacial that is the most common form and the sundry appearance and histopathology, treatment with penicillin, the discharging granules, all those important points should be present. And actinomycetoma is also another probable question that can be asked from this part of the topic. That's about this actinomyces. Thank you.